Polo Run Apartments. Polo Run, Polo Run Apartments wants me out and live with nothing. Polo Run Apartments wants me out. Did they give me an eviction notice? No. Luckily. But they want me to fail so I can leave. They want me to fail my inspection so I can leave. So I can be put out. So they can gentrify the apartments. Polar Run Apartments wants to throw out disabled people like me and poor people like me so they could gentrify the neighborhood. Because why would they not take care of the problem? All I want is for my place to be fumigated. There's critters crawling around my house. I cleared the space for them to even spray but they still haven't showed. They still haven't showed up and I still haven't gotten a call. This is basically, basically my life. No one has any regard to anything that I feel or anything that I have right now. All they care about is I'm a black woman. with no money that needs to just to be that just needs to not exist and not live that's what they're concerned about and before they could go oh she has history of mental issues where I have autism and I have this of course I've been depressed I'm still depressed because no one is fucking paying me nor my talent for anything for me to live. Why do you think that's so? All I really want is to make money off of, is to really make money off of my talent. All the things that I've done and no one has yet to say, I want you. To be a part of this so you can get paid and change your life forever. I have yet to even receive that from anyone. Because of this, they want to play on my intelligence. Or the intelligence that they don't think I have. And it fucking pisses me off. That I have to even deal with this shit. Even within my darkest time. Which no one gives a fuck about. Not even Polo Run gives a fuck about mental health. Not at all. I don't see anything about no counselors. Or if there is one, I'm still not going to do, do that shit. Why? Cause they, so they can say to me, you know what your problem is? Is this and that. You have to let go. You have to do this. You have to do that. For every single fucking day that I have this arm and I have zero in my fucking bank account and no calls telling me, no one calling me and telling me that I need your talent. I want to pay you for your talent. I have yet to receive that shit. Because no one wants to hire a fucking black retard like myself. No one wants retards like me to live. To even exist. And it's really how do I know? It shows. Of course I'm going to fail this inspection that I have tomorrow. And it's really because 
managers after managers after managers after managers after managers 13 years i've been living in polo run managers after managers they keep switching managers because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing at all and for you and for the even the whole apartment complex to have only three workers three maintenance workers and over 300 apartments that's a hundred Per apartment. This whole thing is fucking ridiculous. I really should not ever have to live like this. But of course, it's the cards that I was dealt. Only because I'm disabled and I'm a black woman. And of course, since I cannot work because people deem me as a liability that puts a huge disadvantage that puts me puts really puts me it really puts me in a definite disadvantage it really puts me in a definite disadvantage And I've been paying all time. I'm really sick of this shit and I'm tired. I've been tired. And this is exactly why I want God to take me. Because why fucking live like this? Why fucking live like this? And God, and does God really even care? Not about you. And not about me as far as from your point of view. Not as far as me as far as your point of view. I'm really talking about me and my life. And my point of view. My perspective. And my life. How I've been dealing with things throughout my life. Including this. Before you really open your mouth about me at all I want you to reconsider you are not me I am not you I am an individual I am an individual I have my own life but really right now I just exist right now I just exist and because no one wants me to live a better life not even a better life than they do that's the problem right now. I and bad enough, I don't even trust nobody. Even a, even in my hometown, I don't trust anyone right now. And it's sad. It's really sad. I just don't know. I'm just waiting to die. I'm just waiting to God to take me. Because that's really the only way I could, I could get any respect anymore is if I die. The only way that I could ever be appreciated is if I die. Because no one has yet to even say to me or even show me my importance in this world. Or even their own lives. No one has ever shown me that even recently. So why care? Why care? Why does Polo Run care? They don't really care. And before they can even open their mouths and, and deny everything that I say, 13 years from 2011 to 2024, which is now, I have been living at Polar Road Apartments for 13 years since June of 2011, June 10th of 2011, to be exact. 
and I have all the records. I have receipts. So before even Pull Run is fixing to open their mouth, even about me, and the conditions that they so-called taking care of, they're lying. They always try to cover their ass. Like most, not, like most of these companies and these head people with titles, they always want to lie to cover their ass. But you ain't gonna do it with me. I will see to it that even that management goes down. Because we really need some better people to even fix all of the problems that Polo Run has. And that, include, that includes pests. And I also wrote a review on Google. The description's be below if you want to check that one out. I just had enough. I just really had enough. And no one's really willing to help me. All I, all people around me is doing, all the people around me are doing is a whole bunch of this and no action a whole bunch of talking but no action at all no action there's nothing really to do about it oh you want me to be thankful though oh thank you God for putting me in this situation Thank you, God, for letting me be broke. Thank you so much, God, for putting me in a violent environment where I could easily be killed by a stray bullet. Thank you, God, for that. Thank you, God, that I am in debt right now. Is that what the fuck you want to hear? Is that really what you want to hear? Oh, and thank you, God, for no one, for really no calls. Thank you for not letting anyone use my talent. Not letting anyone pay me for my talent. Thank you for that. Thank you for, for preventing people from even paying me to even use my talent. Thank you, God. Better now? Why am I still here, God? Why the fuck am I still here? Why place me in a place that I was not ever wanted? Hmm. Explain that, God. Explain. Polo Run Apartments, explain. Is it the government not paying you enough to get more workers? Oh, but it gave you enough money to renovate. Ridiculous. This is basically my motherfucking life. Whatever you say. This is not your life. This is mine. And if you deny my life, if you think I'm lying, if you think I'm making all this shit up, you are denying and dismissing my life. And I don't ever want to hear anything. And it, even if you do comment that, I will delete it. Because you have no regard to my life. At all. So, whoever thinks I'm telling the truth, whoever, who's, whoever's listening, thank you. Whoever's not in, want to make their own judgments about me, stay out of my fucking life. 